All right, our video today is on adhering a coyote seal band to a liner. The first thing you want to do is get your liner on your patient and determine the best optimal place for his seal band. Once you've put that band on your patient, you may want to tape it down so it stays still on the liner and, and try it in and out of the socket. But for this purpose of gluing it on, what we're looking for is where it needs to be and how to glue it on. So we've tried it on our patient and we like where it's at. And what we've done when it was on the patient was made a couple of marks, a couple of little tick marks with our pencil and our liner, just like that. And then I went around here on the back and I made a couple of marks, they're hard to see on the screen. But this band is fairly straight running all the way around my liner. If you had some kind of, of a angle built into it, say it, it runs in a, in a curve or in a non-cylindrical fashion where it starts lower and comes up higher, I would make tick marks at the beginning lowest area and then the highest area and then when you lay it back on, you'll get it right back where it was when you had it on the patient. So let's bring this back to where we need it. I can see my two marks on the back here. So we've determined where we want our seal band. I've taken the liner, I put it back on the patient's cast. If you happen to not have the patient's cast, find a similar suitable cast to roll your liner onto so you can get that nice cylindrical shape that needs to be for this band to sit on or possibly use a liner stand. Maybe you have one of those in your shop, one of those black tall liner stands and that would work real well to roll the liner on it in that conical tubular shape so you can get this nice round slightly stretched out appearance so it's as similar as close to it can be as it sits on the patient. So we're on here correctly, our band's nice and straight and what we want to do is get an area we're going to put our adhesive on the fabric. So we want a couple of border edges. So we're going to take electrical tape, which is a vinyl tape, and it works really well because the adhesive back uh, doesn't leave glue or adhesive on our liner, and the face of it is solid, so silicone won't soak through it and get into our liner. So use a vinyl tape, and in this case, electrical works just great, and then run your tape right next to the edge of your seal band say within about a sixteenth of an inch. Get nice and close on that. It doesn't have to be perfect. The one thing you don't want to have is the tape overlapping the seal band. You want to be just outside of it. If you go over the seal band, then you're not getting glue underneath of it where you need it on the liner. Let's just fudge that up a little. All right, so we've got our proximal line set. Let's do our distal. And we're not pulling real tight on our tape. We're just laying it on there nice. Trying to keep a nice straight line with our seal band. Now let's go ahead and roll our seal band back. What we're gonna end up doing is taking our silicone adhesive and shooting it onto this fabric and then taking a spreading tool and spreading it so it covers this entire area. This is only a one inch area on each side of it for that glue to stop. If that's not wide enough, you may want to take a packing tape or another vinyl type tape and go further out here. So what I'm going to do, since I've already got my electrical tape with me, is I'm going to run another string around this and give myself a nice little two inch wide margin of error so I don't get this all over my liner. We're trying to protect our liner, keep from getting glue on it where it doesn't need to be. Now take our silicone adhesive and we want to run a bead all the way around the liner and this is a three to four inch wide band so you're going to want to run roughly a bead about the thickness of a pencil. So we're going to run a bead about like that pencil, about that much adhesive all the way around this. We'll just shoot that right in the middle. If you short yourself, you can always come back in and add some more adhesive. You definitely want to use a silicone adhesive because it bonds silicone to silicone. Regular RTV silicone may not work as well as a silicone adhesive. We're going to go ahead and just use a tongue depressor for our spreader tool and lay it on here and just lightly pressure and start working ourselves around in a circle. You can see I'm holding it fairly flat so I can keep working that silicone forward. 
we'll just keep going around until we get that covered from one side of the tape to the other. We want both sides covered. You don't want to short yourself doing this. Okay, so I've got my center covered really good. Let's run a light bead around our distal and our proximal because you can see it's kind of dry. and You can't have that. It has to be nice and saturated. So this time we won't go quite as heavy because we've got it almost covered. Here on the back side, we're almost completely covered. Let's just work on that distal part right now. And then we'll come back over to our proximal line. Now you can see how much adhesive I'm picking up. See that amount right there on my stick? And I'm laying it fairly flat so I can get a nice planing of it on there. Making sure it's running up onto that tape. Nice and saturated. If you short this, your seal band won't stick properly. You have to make sure that you soak that fiber down. That two inch wide band seems to be working just fine. Check our proximal edge. So let's roll it around. Just a little bit light in a couple of spots. Not bad. Now I've got adhesive right here and that's what I'm looking at and working on and I'm making sure I'm not going over my edges, my tape edges. Yeah, that looks really good. Everything's nice and coated. So let's take our seal band while it's still wet, open it up, make sure we lay our leading edge and just walk it up there nice, bring it around and let go of it. Now while it's still smooth and wet, we can work our seal band back to where we taped it. Try to keep your hands out of your silicone so you don't get it all over your liner when you move it and roll it. Push that all down, get it back to our edge, come up on the tape there, I need to pull that back. I want to be able to see, just see that liner, just like when we taped it on. I'm going to check my top edge again, proximal. Get it right up to the edge of my tape. All right, so you see little air pockets here. Let's push on those and just push it right to the edge of the tape and evacuate that air. Because that air is underneath there, it's not going to stick. So just keep working that air out, just pushing it, pushing it out, just like that. And you should have a fair amount of time to work with this. Silicone adhesive will take at least a couple hours before it sets up to wear it on a patient, but you're looking at, depending on the temperature of your room, say five to 10 minutes of comfortable working time. So as we push the air out, we can reset our edge. Yeah, and just keep working your hands over the whole thing. Make sure it's on there nice and secure. Get rid of those air pockets. And with the Coyote Design seal band, really easy to see them. It's a nice clear silicone band. It's really easy to see underneath of it. Tell if you have areas that aren't adhering correctly. So I'm just gonna keep patting that down until I'm completely satisfied with my adhesion and checking my line to make sure I'm not hanging over that black tape. And I'm also keeping my hands away from that black tape so I don't get sticky all over everything. Because there is adhesive on our little band area. This is looking really good. Just a couple little air pockets and that's it. All right, that looks really good. Once we're comfortable with where the seal band is sitting, let's go ahead and take our tape off. Just slide your scissors underneath there and carefully cut your tape and pull that away. Now at this point, you could take your adhesive and just run a bead up there and then take your finger and wipe it. And it'll leave an okay edge, but it's inconsistent because you don't have any border line. So let's make a border line with it so it looks a little cleaner. And we'll take our tape and run it out here, say a good eighth of an inch. You can see our gap between our seal band and our tape. We're gonna run silicone right to there just cover that whole thing. So I want to leave myself a little bit of a gap there. And this tape will make a nice straight line for us. I'll look a lot more professional when we're done. So yeah, I'd say an eighth to a quarter is what that's looking like. You certainly don't have to do this step. It just makes it look cleaner. Because you can just run your bead and wipe it with your hand. But exposed to air, it's usually roughly 30 minutes before it's not tacky. What's underneath this seal band, though, is going to take longer to set up because there's no air exposed to it. And if you notice I'm wearing rubber gloves doing this, that really does help and have some kind of a, a wipe rag with you. So 
So let's just run a nice little bead all the way around this. It doesn't take a lot. So don't try to completely fill this gap in, but don't be afraid to get some on the fabric. You just end up wasting it if you try to fill it. All right, let's do this proximal edge while we got it nice and smooth. We'll just take our finger and just run it around there real nice. We're not trying to wipe it all out. We're just trying to seal that edge right against the liner. So now we're using our finger just like we did the tongue depressor, I'm trying to fill that in. Okay, now I'm going to clean my finger off. You can see we've got some on our band here, a little bit excess. Let's just go right around it and wipe it flat. Just get rid of the heavy pooling. And once this is set up for a few minutes, say give it five or ten minutes, then I would come back and pull my tape off. That's looking really good. I'm making sure that I've got a good seal on that edge too. That's why I'm working this over nice and consistent. All right. Let's do our lower edge. All right, that should be plenty. Same thing. Run our finger around, seal our edge. If you think you're running short, just put a little more silicone on it and wipe it off. Right there, I'd like a little bit more. You want to get a nice seal on this. That looks good. Our band looks good. We don't have any heavy residue on our band. That's set up a little bit now. We'll go ahead and cut our tape away, carefully remove it, and then leave this thing alone till it sets up. And you should have a seal band on your liner that looks really nice. You see how that makes a nice straight edge where you seal the edge of it? That's what we're looking for. That's where the tape comes in handy. Otherwise it makes it as big as your finger when you smear it around it, but that makes a nice straight line going around the edge of that band. All right, let's give that a couple hours to sit and we can do whatever we need to with that liner. That's all there is to it.